Good morning, good day everyone. Before we start work on my rose, I like to show you work that Catherine doing. Finally, finally, she decided to continue on her bunny. She did like before uh, when I did unboxing this one from GBFKE. She put like few diamonds in here on the bottom, maybe like 10 diamonds and she's like, that's it. Put away for a month and a month. And now I kind of remind her there is um, Easter soon and her bunny waiting for her. So she decided now she wants to work on and finish before Easter. Look at this. She did this in two evenings. We were watching movie. Uh, pretty Little Liars and I was cross-stitching or diamond painting the first evening she did like this and yesterday she did a big chunk so how she doing she's doing totally different that I do I do I do like a cross-country method all the way around she put like see like she did a line she put line from the beads, so next one she will do, she placed diamonds all in one line, for example, somewhere in here, and then she go cross country this piece till she finish, and then she go line further. I say, wow, you're doing it totally different than mama, but look at this, the bunny will look beautiful. Well, we see already here his two legs in here already done. The flowers looks amazing. So I believe this diamond painting will look so so beautiful when it's finished. And she really enjoying it. So yes, cheers to her. Finally, my little girl decided to join me in this journey of diamond painting. Now let me show you what I have been working lately. Let me put this away on my chair take this off because it's not sticking anymore so I can show you from far how much I did progress so last time we worked with you on this part and we created a little bit of the rose right and a little bit in this piece in here and I say I will fill, finish by myself so look at this I finished almost everything on the top, all those gray, um, almost all background. I put lots of lots of diamonds. I put all diamonds in this pink color. Um, now, when I was reviewing my video, we placed with you this dark, how would we see better without shadow of my lamp? Hold on. Maybe I need to zoom close to the camera. I mean to my canvas. When I place, I told you that, oh, it's not that bad. Um, you know, the symbols with the... Um, I already covered the symbols. The symbols like was like a bendy one, a very, very long one. So, after I review my video, I saw that those poke lines, you see, it's still picking it through the diamonds from under. So obviously I did not manage to cover them and it's very hard to cover. It just doesn't work. So I went, that, that's the color I tried to do by myself. So it went more precise because I wasn't in a camera. So it worked better this way for me and it looks like I did much better job off the camera. So I decided to finish all this pink color, this one bright pink and I do not see it in here I was more further from the camera that's why bad symbols I should never do on camera because I don't like it and then I try to fix it I can't move this diamonds because they are stuck very hard so yeah um, left in here very little um, very little so I told you we will work on some different color and I would say on green I might well be going after this green patch because it's kind of like you know all the way around finish and this one not finish it's a lots of symbols P 
um, the black symbol that would be 310 a few diamonds in here I missed you because I placed all my black diamonds long time ago I guess I missed the spot in here or we can use this green patch lots of greenery here and start to work on it so yeah let's get this camera on tripod and we will work a little bit with green colors today uh, we will work on symbol S because we have lots of them and that's the green it's actually really really dark green I was hoping it will be more brighter for you to watch but uh, it, it is beautiful gems so hopefully we will be seeing a good one and Catherine yes they work oh squirrel hop on the window Catherine was working on her bunny yesterday with this pen so she already refilled it she, she was trying to do multi-placer I don't think she did so it's a fresh wax in here so I will continue I don't think I drill with you yet with this gorgeous pen so we will try it and also we will place with you on symbol S and of course I see already that I will be finishing this canvas soon I work for hours after last time we worked with you together on this canvas I work many many hours and I finished many colors as well because I go through the whole canvas now uh, I always did that but no I kind of was trying to do first the bottom part of the canvas uh, because it was lots of uh, rivers and stuff so I was doing just the bottom but when canvas was finished somehow a little bit I still have few rivers in here on the top of the canvas but in here right now it's not bad uh, let's see what we have in here two spots you can see a little bit oh my god the, the squirrels literally running around the window um, in here that's the spot that I kind of iron but I don't know if I need to poke a couple more spots let me get my sharp tweezers and I think I will be oh Catherine have my tweezers okay I will do this later right now I will be working on this spot is not bad okay uh, not sure if we can get a little bit more with you okay never mind distance will be a little bit distance so I will place in here my paper keep me after glue okay now I do have um, this canvas is from new homie I just will remind for those who never saw this canvas before as I have every day somebody new join my channel welcome everyone I do have one more canvas of roses uh, unfortunately on the same double sided tape and then remember I order custom daisies also from my garden picture and daisy was already created on pour on glue so I will be reviewing that one as well and I think I will start that one soon as I finish this one because there is a custom and I want to see how that will look like it's pour on glue I kind of almost forgot about that but because I have so many starts already I need to really finish my old one starts and that's why I really am trying to push all my canvases that I already have my plan is to finish lots of them till summer so I have to say on this canvas maybe I will work 
three more nights and hopefully I will be finishing okay we can see in here a line shimmering so I will not pass that line I will get my tweezers back and I will do um, poke few holes what's actually Catherine here baby where's my tweezers I need them um, she has her box in here that she keep in her diamonds in a box from a cookie some kind of frozen cookie okay thank you baby all right now we have a tweezers let's see this one i will be poking a few of the holes to get the air down it's not bad in here because i iron this side so it's pretty much flat already i just want to make sure um no okay you cannot see the other one part or else shimmering in here line but it's not the, no it's pretty much flat already because i iron in here it just kind of look weird it's more on the top i see the bubbles that i have to poke more but that one is off the camera right now but i see now so clearly so let me just poke few holes off the camera in here we will be finishes finishing the, this canvas soon all right so let's continue okay all right let's continue made my baby girl a toast avocado toast she like avocado that's big surprise for kid to like the avocado she does she mash it on a toast put salt and pepper i like my avocado with the cucumber and tomato salad and oil salt and pepper a little bit of onions mm, delicious salad and I am making for myself coffee right now because I am dying. I went to bed 3 o'clock in the morning because I was cross-stitching that rose sample for you. And I am whooped but not giving up. I still want to have a video every single day for you. Went a little bit late but... I don't know it's okay it still count even I was late a little bit so anyway if you hear the noises uh, my coffee maker in the kitchen is brewing we will have some caffeine on our soul and hopefully will help me to wake up because I have lots of things to do I started one more canvas I mean I started cross stitch canvas bad bad me but I need it I needed to start that because I realized that I have um, cross stitching for everyday e-crafts but I don't I mean I have a diamond painting for everyday e-crafts but I did not have any cross stitch started for that company so I started on my puppy flowers and I did a little bit of progress it's hard to go just with one canvas and that's it not possible because as many companies I review product I have to cover everybody kind of even I wanted to stick into the same like to the winter projects over the winter kind of hard to do that as well because that would be like a cover just a two company and that's it but I need to cover more than just two company and um, yeah so I went 
all over the place but I still have in my mind to finish my stocking till next Christmas so hopefully I will be able to do that and I will do that when I will um, camp I will camp and I will stitch outside when I'm resting and it's such a good time to do actually now what I'm thinking my stock and cross stitching on 14 count Ada and I usually do with my magnifying glass to see better so for outdoors I need something that I can stitch more freely for my eyes so I will be something stitching that is on 11 count when I do my oh, sorry this one slip when I do unboxing of cross stitching I want to finish them all I like I mean I want to start them all because they are all so beautiful we will be moving which side uh, one in here a little bit more I will bring all this with me to the camper some smaller canvases that we can start and finish and that usually good to work at the campground on the canvases like you know um, mandala something with the special diamonds because they are so magnificent to shoot them outdoors so sparkle yeah I'm so ready I cannot stop talk about this I'm literally like counting down oh May May it's far away yet but well about diamond painting and Easter I have a one of the canvases in Easter image of the Christ on a cross uh, that's the only probably Easter image that I have so I will have to pull this out and start working on it I thought I have a more time because it looks like our Ukrainian Easter a little bit later and Canadian is sooner so I have to pull out that canvas and finish before Easter so I don't have to rush like I did before Valentine's Day I might will have to go today and pull that out I believe that image was in 40 by 50 and that's why I like so much because of that size and I watched somebody lots of you did this canvas before and posted in my Facebook group by the way if you don't know that we do have a Facebook group it's same name as my channel Lovecraft forever please come join us uh, oh my god everybody are so friendly up there and everybody helping each other if some beginners have some questions there is always somebody up there to help you out and I'm so thankful for all those people who help in each other thank you so much you are the best our group are the best that's what I say um, all right so we did a little bit with this one let me now change diamonds to different color I know it's not will be much different because here it is I have a two green colors but this one a little bit more brighter more happier 
this green very very dark almost like to brown so I will switch color to a little bit more happy green I wanted to have more better colors to work with you and I pick it's kind of dark I will just like after camera literally switch them let's see this color will be a little bit better And we will work on the symbol N. Okay. One very bright diamond got into this tray. It's kind of matching my pen. See that one in the corner. So this one, another one green. It's a little bit more green. Very sparkle because my magnifier light is on right now. But blinds close so I can have a little bit I don't know if this is better or not but um, I need move my canvas forward and camera backwards there we have a good patch of symbols right in here so let's try it We are going for the shady area of the leaves. Uh, this is a leaf kind of you creating, I think. This rose is not going to be very, very like a sharp and visible because of the nature of this picture they created this roses. Because when I took this picture, I added filter of lighten up my picture a little bit. And when you do that, uh, picture get lighter and with all those adjustments, uh, some area I think I even blur maybe a little bit, not sure. And they uh, saw my picture online and asked if they can create diamond painting for from it. So. If I would wanted to create like a custom custom diamond painting uh, from my roses, I would pick different picture, but because they want it, I just went with the flow and say okay. So if you see like not very sharp lines, it's not because they didn't do a good job. It's because that's the way the picture will look like. And maybe on the end when I will finish this diamond painting I will pull for you my original picture on computer and I will show you we will compare together if there is like a similarity or is it very good or very bad we will see them and I'm really anxious to actually see the finished one How is everyone doing today? Looks like outside beautiful and sunny day. We went through some snowstorm only for one week kind of this winter. There was like most snow fallable and it's kind of melting today. I see puddles on the road, water staying, so it's not cold at all. And I believe we have a plus temperature today. So that's why it's melting. It's like looking so springy. Feels like it's a springtime. And make me so happy because I don't like winter. Uh, the other day I went to my girlfriend Sherry she's my admin on a Facebook group as well hi Sherry if you're watching this video uh, we didn't 
managed to record video at her house with her creatures because it was like uh, was too many people in the house, was loud her puppy was so excited to see my kids he was running around like crazy oh my god he is such a happy pug when he see Catherine or Ivan so uh, I did not record up there but she promised me to come visit me sometime and bring her craft to my house and we can do some crafting together uh, she wanted me to try to set up kind of we will try to do a live chat we will practice but we will practice on my other channel so it's like nobody will see <laughs> but we will but I will learn how to do it and maybe time from time we will do live chat but some of you don't want me to do live chat because you think it's going to be a ruin a video I don't know why and I'm to be honest I'm okay not to do it live chat because I feel more comfortable just to do I think why lots of people don't like live chat because most of the people spend their time uh, staring on computer saying hello millions of times to everybody separately and for other people that's getting annoying um, lots of questions uh, that could be helpful but also kind of destructive and you're not diamond painting you're just looking on a screen and answering questions so maybe that's why lots of people don't like live chat just for that reason so yeah but we will definitely will uh, do together some craft she will bring her craft, I will do my craft, Catherine will grab something of hers and we will do together like a crafting vlog of friends together that would be fun, I love when she come over to my house we try to say, stay safe out of the trouble barely, if don't have to go nowhere, I try not to go anywhere um, okay so I see my video as of right now I'm recording this video I'm uploading my update on cross stitch and I see they will be almost almost uploaded already so um, actually not uploading exporting and then I need to upload it to the YouTube uh, so talking about Sherry she gave me something from my kitchen stuff that she didn't want it and never use stuff like some stuff um, glassware or some kind of dishes and you know what let me show you we will break this diamond paint into a little bit you know here a little bit a little bit of this a little bit of that right all right let's go before I show you uh, what she gave it to me I like to show you what I started from cross stitch and that is a gorgeous puppy Joy Sunday and I got this canvas from everyday e-crafts yes so because I have only diamond painting from this company I decided to start cross stitch as well so it's kind of even with different company at the same time and yeah the, the threads in here is absolutely stunning all those orange colors gorgeous gorgeous palette absolutely stunning and let me show you what I did so far hopefully I will not stick my threads into my diamond painting because it's right on the top I started from the bottom oh I am gonna stack hold on there and my video is finished uploading let me just exit just a minute good thing I have a headset plug it in so it's not went loud into this video so there I started my first color so I will start from this corner and this one I cross stitch in my hands 
in two pricks one and down one and down uh, because this is really really tough canvas and I don't have a frame a hoop it's really hard to put in a hoop so for now I'm stitching in my hands without any hoop and I started on the very very bottom of my picture so first color is down next one I will go after this orange one and I'm working if I can show you on a picture I'm working right on this corner so that's the bright one color that's the first one I started on all right now let's go to the dining table look at this two boxes I know it's nothing crafty but uh, it's more like for the kitchen I could do this from my like on a cooking channel because it's a kitchenware but um, I just decided you know what let me show you what she gave it to me and because she said okay if you don't want it I just will be uh, taking this to give it off literally some like dump and garbage whatever uh, to the trash but I mean how can you not to love and like this is like a brand new stuff that she never even used and she don't want it so I thought yeah sure I can use it okay let's just try to figure out have to pull it out uh, this one is for the Christmas time um, not necessarily this could be good for like a food but as a decorative piece could be uh, I can use this even for decorative pieces for my channel to actually display something maybe it's a beautiful ceramic plate, it's like a bowl, one red and one is yellow, poinsettia, oh, look how pretty, look how pretty, let me show you close, it doesn't have a glaze uh, top, but look at the beautiful shape and uh, yeah, this is made in China, but I mean, it's gorgeous. So thank you so much, Sherry. I will definitely enjoy to display something on uh, Christmas time. Maybe we will do with you some Christmas uh, ornaments or decorations, some DIY, and this place will be kind of like a for the display. So yes, she gave me this it's new never used and she was gonna throw away I say are you kidding me I love them when I was young girl my co-worker young ladies would go you know shop for uh, dresses uh, shoes jewelry me I would go shop for ceramic glassware pots like I love the kitchen stuff so much all the beautiful glass and crystals so yeah I was addicted to it a long time ago and when I saw these dishes of course I can use them I can use some at home I can use some at the camper so she gave me this awesome amazing uh, bowls could be for ice cream could be even for a soup look at this design kind of like a vintage flowers and here's the cake on the inside yes you can put a piece of cake uh, ice cream on the top so look how cute this one is red another bowl with the polka dots and they have a different color of the cake tier in the in the center on the inside another one is um, it's a set of four stripey and here we have a blue cake and one more yellow design and here this little cake in here so yes it's gorgeous isn't it 
talking and going to it is the four of us in the family so this is perfect for like a scoop of ice cream to put inside or even for something like a soup it's gorgeous so loving it this one and then we will be unwrapping because we wrap everything in the paper so i didn't even unpack it it will be noisy very noisy unwrapping so this one is like a beautiful black glass for some wine uh, so we have you i need to rescue them from in here one more like this um, it's going to be all in the mix then few uh, like a wine champagne glasses like this then some from okay I will place them on the side so we don't get them break and not stick to each other here's like a for a margarita I guess that's the fancy could be for ice cream I don't know okay I just will unwrap and throw paper on the floor. Okay, one more glass as we already open. Lots of my glasses got broken with kids and uh, so I can use this one at the dinner table even. One more of this black one. Can't remember how many of this one in here now we will have some I think it's different oh this one is pretty uh, look at that sunflowers painted and the way this one on the bottom is beautiful uh, it looks really heavy but it's actually very light glass and one more. I will put them right in here. Okay. Now this one is a different shape. Okay. So you can see there is a difference. And this one. One more skinny. Oh, this one is different too because uh, so it's like a two of each, I guess. Uh, you can see there is uh, here one is shorter, one is taller. Same shape, but two tall one. Two short one and two bulky one like like this one. so it's a six glasses and what else in here let me pull it out okay one more of this fancy one and one more yeah so I think I have a three of this one because I think Sherry said one broke, so she has only three. That's okay. And more of the sunflowers, so we will have four of them. So now I can just, you know, wash them all, dry them, and find a room to display. And the last item that she gave to me this one dish for olives or some pickles look how cute that's that's a cute dish nice kind of shape so yes all this glassware oh my god sherry thank you so very much i love this stuff and i have to find a room where i can put them so thank you thank you thank you you are the best i will have some maybe even this one i will take it to the 
camp in which I have some like a plastic up there, but this is so fancy to have a glass of wine or something. There, um, that's it. Now I will be finishing this video. I hope it wasn't too messy for your liking, but I just decided to show you what my girlfriend gave it to me and I'm um, really appreciated. Thank you, Sherry. I love the glassware.